a diabetes wellness worker, I travel throughout Southern Ontario and visit several Indigenous communities and teach them about diabetes awareness and prevention. We do that through a variety of um, teachings and tools and resources that pertain to healthy eating, physical activity, stress reduction, food care awareness, and so on. There are many other programs that, um, as far as I know, are being facilitated in various colleges. Health and wellness, there's fitness, there's um, those, types of, those types of diplomas or, or post-secondary education is what's pretty much necessary to do this line of work. Of course, you can always go farther. For me, myself, I ended up elaborating on my skills and I became a personal trainer as well. I then went on to get my yoga teacher certificate as well. You need to know the anatomy of the body, the muscles and the joints and how they work. Last of all, I also obtained my healthy eating and weight loss coaching certification. These additional certifications are not necessary, but they definitely go a long way to expanding on your skills, building on your skills, and continually developing your expertise in this area. What our goal is, is to bring back um, a lot of that sort of traditional or ancestral knowledge as much as we possibly can, make those connections with our traditional elders and various traditional wisdom that they may bring to the table so that our people can once again make that holistic connection with regards to their own health and wellness. So when I go to work, it's because I want to be a part of making a positive change. I want to be a part of somebody that um, might suddenly be motivated to do something well for themselves and most of all, just see people um, do something for their own daily self-care that's going to contribute to more positive health outcomes. Mm -hmm.